I am Dr. Vivek. Today I am going to discuss or tell you about a topic which is very important in medical practice that is central venous cannulation. So what will be the top, uh, topics covered under this central venous catheter is I will be mainly focusing on subclavian central venous line cannulation. So the topic will include anatomy, indication, preparation and demonstration of subclavian catheter insertion mm, following is the video of anatomy hello today i am going to show you anatomy of venous system of our human body these are the veins in our body so this anatomy of veins is important for cannulating central veins so what are the central veins central veins are the larger size veins like this one this is right subclavian vein right subclavian vein internal jugular vein then similarly uh, left internal jugular left subclavian vein and uh, in the lower limbs these are the femoral vein these are the most common sites for central venous line insertion so what are the indications for central venous line in cannulation in the anatomy video next topic is what are the indication of central venous catheterization so why we want to do central venous catheterization so the main indications for central venous catheterization are monitoring central venous pressure aspiration of blood for investigations then large volume fluid resuscitation in the bleeding patient and infusion of sclerosing drugs or chemotherapy drugs in a long term for chemotherapy patients and right heart catheterization right heart catheterization is used for various array of reasons including like pacemaker, pacemaker insertion preparation for central venous cannulation so for central venous cannulation, first the patient should be explained about the procedure, its process, indications, contraindication and possible complications, known and uh, expected and unexpected complication of central venous insertion as these major veins are in close proximity to major vessels and vital organs. So after this, the the patient should be shifted to OT theater and prepared for the procedure. It requires a multi-parameter with ECG monitoring, pulse oximeter, NIVP for measuring the vitals of the patient followed by the central venous catheter kit. We usually use 7 French for adult, triple lumen or double lumen depends on the indications and uh, in pediatric it is usually 5 French. So before opening the packet we should confirm whether it is 7 French or 5 French to avoid uh, wastage of the catheter. Next is what we need for preparation. We need uh, drapes, gauze pieces, uh, dinoplast, sterile betadine uh, spirit solution, uh, then an assistant for helping during the procedure and uh, suture materials for securing the securing the central venous catheter to the skin. <laughs> Sound 
ಗೈಡ್ ವೈರ್ ಇತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಇದು ತೆಗಿಬೇಕು 